and welcome to the first ever Woman in Computer Science UO video blog. I'll be your host, Kiki Protzman. I'm also the chair of Women in Computer Science this year. So I've been doing research on women in computing and girls in computing. And over the terms, I've started to realize that in the outgoing students, there seem to be complaints that a lot of them share. And a lot of them have to do with the way the classes were taught. So it seems that uh, a lot of the reason that women will lose interest in computer at a collegiate level has to do with the professors and the curriculum of the course. Now recently my observations have been uh, confirmed, I guess, by studies conducted in the book Unlocking the Clubhouse, Women in Computing, and this paper, Exploring Factors that Influence Computer Science Introductory Course Students to Persist in the Major. Now some of the findings are a little surprising, while others are not. One of the things I want to note is just how important the teacher's attitude and that of the TA, the teacher's assistant, are to females in courses. Now it doesn't seem to be the case with males, but with women, the less hospitable and approachable a professor or teacher's assistant is, the less likely they are to perceive the class as something that they can handle. And they're more likely to withdraw and not do as well and eventually drop out. Uh, also sexism. Sexism, fortunately, according to these studies, is on the decline, which is also something that I feel I've personally noticed over the last decade or more that I've been in college. <laughs> but that doesn't mean that the importance of it hasn't stayed the same. So women are much more likely to internalize sexism or racism that they are feeling in these classes and then portray those traits in what they're doing. So even if they didn't start out feeling weak in computer science, if they're experiencing that sexism, they will internalize it and eventually perceive themselves as weak and again not do as well and it could lead to them dropping the major. There's also a question about the assignments, the type of assignments being given. One of the questions has to do with the types of assignments. Quite often they are more masculine based assignments. They're things that are gender relevant for men in large part because most of the students are male. So they'll be sports related, gaming related, that type of assignment, whereas things that are, are perceived as more female are shied away from because in society it's okay for women to partake in male activities, but it's really not well looked upon to have a man partaking in a female activity. Uh, collaborative learning is another thing that this paper notes as a thing that is more likely to retain women. Women, when they're, they tend to be more social. So when they have opportunities to partake in computer science activities in a social environment, they see themselves as well supported and, and they form bonds that are more likely to keep them in, in the study of computer science. So uh, the pace and workload, that's something that I hear time and time again. It's not that women can't handle a larger workload. It's not that women are any less capable than men at doing intense and difficult tasks. It's the way that we approach them. Women will sometimes get stuck on small details and then spend a whole lot more time on the little things than a man might and therefore they will get overwhelmed really easily. One of the things that I've found that helps that is the ability to have a rubric that they can look at to know what portion of the assignment is worth how many points. That way they can choose mathematically what to focus their time on and therefore do a better job than they might if they were getting stuck on something that they felt was important but the professor didn't feel was equally important. Uh, it is also important to grow the expectation of workload and intensity gradually because a lot of times women find themselves in classes with men who've been doing this their entire lives and it's what they focus on. There are far fewer women 
who behave that way than men. So a lot of times they'll already have the perception that they know less just because there might be one guy who sits in the front row and has every answer to everything. They'll perceive themselves as not knowing as much. So if they start out the course doing these nice simple assignments that are gradually growing as their knowledge is growing and then all of a sudden there's a large jump where they're expected to do something very intense, very complicated without being worked up to that. They'll feel like everybody else gets it except for them and they're far more likely to lose themselves at that point and never recover. So if you're teaching computer science or if you're a TA in computer science and you notice something like that happening, it's important to give students steps to get from the type of assignment that they were expected to complete to the type of assignment that they're now expected to complete and make sure that they, they find a way to get over that divide smoothly so that we have a better chance of retaining women in computer science. Thanks for listening. Please leave comments. Uh, if you have a blog, if you have a, a subject that you would like to discuss, go ahead and send me your video and I will check it for content and relevance and we'll get it posted. Thanks so much. Have a great one.